So when you open the box, first you have all sorts of bags, two boxes that are full of four Lego bags. It's a ton of bags. Let's just start with saying we got two one bags. I don't even know how many twos. I'm just gonna go through. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and then a ton of unnumbered bags that have green base plates and the red tracks in them and then two things of instruction manual part one and part two and then a bunch of stickers so let's get building everybody here we go this set took me 10 hours to build it um it took me about two days not fully um i started it at about three o'clock on the 26th and finished it in the morning on the 27th as a pretty early or late building it so that was awesome but it took me 10 hours I timed it so pretty much exactly 10 hours of building for this one set by myself and it's a huge accomplishment and I feel like I really did good with this the only thing I didn't really care for is how repetitive it was with all of the support beams and the support pieces you know for the beams to hold up the set and all of the support beams that held it together hey guys so we officially have finished the first book which is um half of the set the other half is in book two which is going to be fun so we're going to get another minute this is the first booklet guys as you can see pretty thick book the last page is page number um, that's the back of the book Last page is 180. So there were 180 pages in the first booklet. I really like that design of the book. But yeah, guys, so we got a lot done. We got the awesome coaster wording done, which just looks absolutely amazing. We got a bunch of the pulls. The pulls were very repetitive, but it actually is like really sturdy. So that's a very big plus. And then up here, we got some of the track done. And then this real. The way they designed the wheels is absolutely awesome. I mean, this is just so genius. Yeah, so I'm not gonna give you a whole review because that'll come later on. But yeah, guys, so let's just jump right back in to the awesome build. Here we go. I was up really late last night building this set and I just, I didn't feel tired, man. I just felt like I was building, building, building and I was having a lot of fun building this set. It took a little while, but it's totally worth it. It looks amazing on the table right now, soon to be a shelf. The chain on this set was a huge struggle. It was taken forever to build. It took forever to put into its place. I mean, it was, it was a struggle. <laughs> Here it is all finished. Um, as you can see, I have it motorized with an EV3 Mindstorms kit like I did with my Ferris wheel. And I really like it. It's super smooth and looks really cool together. And I really like the way it is built going up, going down the hill, woo, right there. It looks awesome. Spins around and stops when you have the brake enabled. When you don't have the brake enabled, it will just keep going. I'll dive further to that in the upcoming review video. It's done. This set is absolutely amazing. Let's take a closer look. So starting off, we have two instruction manuals, one and two. And you, pretty much you can just build this with two people. It's like a team build. One could be building one and the other could be building two. I built them all by myself. So that was really cool. Uh, we got a really nice line of minifigures here. If you can see them. We've got some attendants and some passengers and you know, a little cable, some, uh, you know, people selling some stuff. Right now I have the coasters together because I feel like it's more realistic to actually have all six together, you know, but you can put those back the way you want, but that's how I have it right now. This is a really nice set. I'm not going to get into it much because I'm not doing a review right now, but yeah. So the coaster sign is just absolutely amazing. The height of it is really tall. I don't know if you can tell because it's in video format, but if you were here, you'd be like, oh my gosh. Um, just to give you an example, this is me touching it like that. Really long set, really big. You have like the ATSD box, the new ATSD Mandalorian set. That's about how close it gets to the top. So 
it is a very, very tall set. You know, I'll do some other comparisons in the future review video. But yeah, guys, so if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below, and hit that bell so you never miss any new videos. I'm working on awesome more reviews and other stop motions are coming up for 2021. I'd also like to give you a big thanks for helping us hit 300 subscribers in our first year on YouTube. That is a huge accomplishment, and I'm really happy we hit that. It makes me feel like we really did some this year. So another awesome year next year for 2021. Without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. God bless you. I'll see you later.